All right, in this video, we're gonna show you how to log in as a host and go over a brief overview of your dashboard. So if you've signed up with Google, you're gonna click continue with Google. Uh, for this profile, we did not. We used a regular email address and password. So I'm gonna type in my password here and hit log in. When the page loads, you can see that we have some quick actions across the top for stays, our marketplace, our locations, and our message center. Here we have some quick actions as well with some stats. We have one upcoming stay, and we can view that. We have pending stay requests, messages, and pending reviews to leave. Below that, we have our calendar, and you can switch this over to list view if you choose to. In calendar view, we can see any blocks that we have or bookings that we have coming up. We can see what day of the week it is, and we can always go forward and see other bookings as well. Same thing with the list view. We can see all approved bookings. If we were to click anywhere on this, you can see there's a little hand as I go over top of this. If we were to click anywhere over top of this, we can view the booking here and we can see what type of rig they have. We can see if they have items purchased, uh, if their stay is approved and what their ratings are and their contact information. We can also click down here to send them a message. All right, closing that, we're gonna move on to our marketplace. So if you click up here for marketplace, we can see the items that we've added. Uh, we can also see their status if they're available or not in stock. If we click add new item, it's gonna pull up the items that we already have, but we can also click this plus button here and add a new item with a title, price, and description. Uh, you can also add a photo for any one of these that you would like. So I'm gonna delete this one and we'll go back here. Now we're gonna go over to locations. So you can see our location here is the RV Overnight's headquarters. We've got three spaces, gives us our address, tells us who the host account is and our contact information. Over here, uh, we've got all of our spaces listed out with our parking service, if they have amenities, and you'll see there's a plus button here. So this plus button is for an outside booking. So this is where you can select a booking source, put in a name, email, phone number, and go ahead and create that. That'll pop up on your calendar. You can also go here and hit block dates, and this will allow you to block dates for the entire location, not just one spot. And you can also hit repeat annually if you would like to repeat that over and over again. Say you're closed Christmas every year. And then we can go ahead and block spaces individually as well if you were to click right there. If we wanted to edit our location, we could just click on the location menu, which is at the end of the location here, hit edit. And that'll take us back to our onboarding form where we can edit our location. Moving over to the message center. So here's where we can see conversations with our members that are coming to stay with us. In here, you can see their status of approved or checked in. Uh, you can see uh, your conversation back and forth with them. You can add attachments, emojis. And then over here, we've got some quick actions. You can request their location. Uh, we can pop up their QR code. We can report an issue with this member. We can report a no-show and we can also archive the chat. All right, and now I'm gonna show you where our settings are. So you're gonna click this top right up here. We'll hit settings right there. And this is where you can change your password and your notification preferences. All right, so that's a great overview of our dashboard. Hope you guys enjoyed it and watch for more videos.